The following is a presentation of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. Well, a happy Thursday to you, wherever you might be. My name is Ron Juckett, and it's time for our YouTube-exclusive Game of the Week for our 1978 Major League Baseball replay tonight, or May 5th. We're now into May, a Friday night game between the Minnesota Twins and the Baltimore Orioles. It's not what we thought we would do, but when we got through Thursday's schedule, I added up the game with the most wins, and it was Minnesota and Baltimore. So it's our first look at the Orioles in 1978, and they do have a legitimate chance of winning that division. You know they can pitch, and you know they can hit. Can the Red Sox and Yankees and Brewers hold them off. Right now, the Orioles are 12-10 and 10, and one game behind the Boston Red Sox as the Yankees continue to slump. Mike Flanagan is on the hill. He is looking for his second win of the year. Meanwhile, Minnesota, 14-12. and 12. Hard to believe this is game 27 for them. Uh, they are now two and a half games out in the American League West in fifth place, but it's just one of those things you just never know Kind of running short for them. We know that we've had them on, I think, three or four times already. But they're worth having on. They're a good team. So it's the Orioles and Twins next right here on Retro Sports Network. For whatever reason, the second time I opened up the standings, everything except for the last place team in the American League show. So as we head into Kentucky Derby weekend here, on the replay, the Dodgers have a three-game lead over Houston and Cincinnati. The Dodgers are 15-8. and eight. They've won two straight and eight of their last ten. San Diego, you can see, has lost seven straight and falling on the wayside there. Be curious to see how long the Astros can hang on there. They are definitely a much better team at the Astrodome than they are on the road. Pittsburgh and the Dodgers, who you'll see live on Twitch on Thursday, Friday on YouTube. 15 and 7 and 3 and a half up on Philadelphia and Chicago. And the Pirates are 9 and 4 at Three Rivers. In the American League, the West California, a half game lead over Kansas City, who've won five straight. They just swept the Yankees. Chicago, a game and a half back. I'm sure we'll see Dennis Lamp before too much longer. Texas and Minnesota at two and a half back. I still think that this could be a five team race. The Red Sox have won three straight, 14 and 10 in the American League East. Baltimore, six and four in their last 10, one game back. The Yankees have really fallen apart. They've lost four straight, two of eight of their last 10. They're now 500 ball. Toronto, which will not stay there forever. Milwaukee has lost four straight. That's why Milwaukee and KC got scrubbed from the broadcast. Let's tell you about Mike Flanagan, shall we? One and three on a year. And a 4.72 ERA. This will be his sixth start of 1978. He, of course, would win the Cy Young Award in 1979. He has lost his last three starts, including one April 30th against the Chicago White Sox in eight innings. He allowed eight hits, four runs, all earned. He walked two and struck out three. In 34 and a third innings, he allowed 34 hits, or has allowed 34 hits. One home run, but 18 runs all earned. He has walked 12 and struck out 22. He is a fly ball pitcher. He is a fastball pitcher, and that fastball tops up or tops out at 90, the lineup he will face. Willie Norwood leading off for Gene Mock's Twins in right. Rod Carew batting number two at first. Disco Dan Ford in center bats third. Jose Morales, the DH, hitting 071, cleans up. Good job there, Gene. Craig Cusick is in left field. He'll bat fifth. Roy Smalley will bat sixth at short. Butch Weiniger, the catcher. Batting seventh, Larry Wolf, the third baseman, bats eighth, and Bob Randall at second, hitting 405, will hit ninth. Defensively for the Birdies, Gary Renicki, a five and a three, and left Al Bumbury, who does not play an awful lot in 1978, a six and a six in center, 
Carlos Lopez is six and an eight in right. Doug Nascense is a seven at third. Kiko Garcia is a four at short. Billy Smith is a six at second. Eddie Murray, rookie, is a six at first. Rick Dempsey, a five and a seven behind the plate. Mike Flanagan, a five on the mound. And so with all that, let's play some baseball. Norwood at 173. No homers and five RBI. Flanagan deals, and Norwood grounds out one in the hole on the left side, and that's how this one starts. So the Twins looking for win number 15. Go up with a Norwood single. Here's Carew at 362. Three homers and 15 RBI. Throw to first. Norwood is back. Flanagan goes home. Carew, ground ball, base hit left side. Norwood will hold at second. And the Twins have the first two on and nobody out for Ford. Dan at 250, five homers, at 11 in 592 at bats, and 18 home runs in the early going. Remember, for the Twins, this is game 27. This is game 23 for the Orioles. Flanagan deals, and Ford laces that one all the way to the wall in left center. Norwood and Carew score. Ford is going into third, and he's safe. So the Twins have yet to record it out. And they're up 2-0 on the triple by Ford. They had a chance at him. Renicki's arm is not great. It's a 3 out of 10. And Ford got in there under the tag of Desense. Here's Jose Morales, a 314 hitter in real life. 071 with an RBI and on the replay, 1 for 14. Here's the pitch. Got away from Dempsey, and Ford will score on the wild pitch. And before Earl Weaver can pull out the Chesterfields, it's 3 0 Minnesota. And a 2 1 count to Morales. Flanagan deals, struck him out. A 90 mile an hour fastball just below the belt for strike three. Brings up Craig Cusick at 231. No homers and three RBI. Pitch. And there's a pop up left side. Renicky goes back to make the catch for the second out. Two out. And here's Roy Smalley at 299. Three homers and 16 RBI. Three nothing twins. Just a start of things here at Baltimore. Pitch to Smalley. Ball four. This keeps up. 3-1 pitch, two-out walk. Oof. This keeps up or else just going to slice those Chesterfields open and eat the stuff inside. Butch Weininger at 195. Three homers and 12 RBI. Flanagan deals. Weininger into left. Renicky in the corner and the catch to retire the side. The good news for Baltimore is if you do that in the first, you got all game to come back. Three runs, three hits, no errors. Half an inning in the books. It's the Twins 3. Here come the Orioles. It'll be Jeff Zahn on the mound for the Twins in five starts. He has thrown four complete games. And it's 4-0 and with an ERA of 2-3-6. Last Thursday, the 29th, he threw a six innings and a no decision against the Yankees. We had that game, as a matter of fact. Nine hits, four runs, three earned. He walked two and struck out two. That's the game that Bucky Dent won in the 11th. Uh, 42 innings for Zahn, 40 hits, a home run allowed. 14 runs, 11 earned. He has walked seven and struck out 17. He is a fastball pitcher at 85, and he'll tend to put the ball on the ground. Baltimore lines up this way. Al Bumbry in center field leads off. Billy Smith will bat second and play second. Gary Renicky, the left fielder, will bat third. Eddie Murray cleans up at first. Lee May, the DH for Baltimore, will bat fifth. Doug Basinse at third will bat sixth. Carlos Lopez in right, hitting 100, will bat seventh. Rick Dempsey, the catcher, goes eighth. And Kiko Garcia will bat ninth. Mike Flanagan, who could potentially go a complete game through 29 pitches in his half of the first. Weather, by the way, didn't give that to you. 
66 degrees tonight in Baltimore. Beautiful night. Winds left or right to left, as you can see on the screen, at 12 miles an hour. Bunbury at 311, two homers and 10 RBI, having a great 78. He would be injured and... What has he done? He'll be gone May 13th and back August 31st. Anyway, Bumbry's ready, so is on. Oh, I gotta give you the defense. Cusick is a three and a one and a left. That's Dan four to four and a five in center. Willie Norwood a two and a six in right. That is a terrible outfield. Larry Wolf a five at third. Roy Smalley an eight at short. Bob Randall a seven at second. Rod Carew an eight at first. And it'll work for Zahn. Weininger is seven and an eight, and Zahn is an eight on the mound. Pitch to Bumbry is a ground ball. Randall in on the grass behind the mound. He throws to first for the out. Billy Smith, pictures taken in Oakland. 340, a homer, two triples, and four RBI. Three nothing twins, bottom of the first. Zahn delivers, struck him out on a 2 2 pitch. So a fastball at 84, two out for Gary Renicky. 321, he only had 58 at-bats in the real season. Wow, two homers and 10 RBI. Looks a little angry in that picture. Pitch from Zahn, Renicky draws the walk. So he looked at a 3-0 curve, low and inside, and two out walk for Eddie Murray. Eddie at 239. Four homers and 21 RBI. Two out, runner on first. Zahn delivers, and there's a little looper in the left that's going to get in front of Cusick. Murray's got a single. Renicky goes to third, and that'll bring up Lee May. At 283, seven homers and 20 RBI. He's sitting on a six-game hitting streak. Zahn's pitch. Line drive left field. Going to scoot through. Renicky will score. Murray goes to third. Pitching doesn't seem to be in vogue for anybody. And it's 3-1. to one, Minnesota. That brings up the Sensei. Doug at 288. Three homers and 16 RBI. Not yet. With California. Zahn's pitch. Line drive center field. Ford reaches up to make the catch. The Orioles strand two on a run and two hits and no errors. We've played one at Memorial, three to one twins. So Larry Wolf, Bob Randall, and Willie Norwood to face Flanagan here in the second. Zahn threw 27 pitches in the first. Wolf at 250, no homers, and two RBI. Flanagan deals, and Wolf sends that one to Murray. Takes it to the bag himself for the out. Bob Randall at 4.05 as I hear the cat snoring behind me. No homers and 9 RBI. Good start for Bob. Lefty Flanagan deals. Ground ball to Smith. Over to first. Two out. So through nine batters, 36 pitches for Flanagan, an inning and two-thirds. Three hits, three runs, all earned. The two-run triple by Ford being the big one. A walk and a strikeout. Norwood singled and scored. Flanagan delivers, struck him out. He got him to offer at a 91-mile-an-hour fastball, and that will retire the side. The Twins go down in order. No runs, no hits, no errors. Inning and a half down, 3-1 Minnesota. So Carlos Lopez, Rick Dempsey, and Kiko Garcia to face on in the second. Lopez, not a great hitter, but only hitting 100 on the replay with an RBI. He has struck out five times and 30 at-bats. Pitch from Zahn, and there's a fly ball to left. Cusick goes into foul territory, and somebody from Glenn Burney made that catch, and Rex Barney wants to sign that man to a contract. 
Three and two the count. Lopez from Zon. And there's a ground ball to third. Wolf all the way across the diamond for the out. One out. That was not even a bang banger. The crowd thought it was, but it wasn't. Rick Dempsey at the plate, 274. Two homers and 14 RBI. Twins, powder blue uniforms, red hats with the T and the C. The Orioles in those pullovers with the cartoon bird, white. Now, I always hate to give the color black and orange. Pitch to Zemsey is a ground ball to Randall. He comes in, flips it over to Carew for the out. Two out. So Kiko Garcia, 5 for 15 on the year with a triple. That's 333. And 6 RBI, which is amazing in 15 at-bats. He has not walked. Has a stolen base. Pitch from Zahn. Fouled back behind the plate. We'll do it again, and the count is 0-2. Zahn delivers. Ball four. So a two-out walk will bring up Bumbry. Zahn's first nine batters, 42 pitches. That's not good. Inning in two-thirds, two hits, two walks, and a strikeout. The run is earned. Garcia isn't going anywhere, and Bumbry is 0 for 1. Pitch from Zahn, throw to first, and Garcia is barely back in the back. If you watched our Patreon Game 7 of the 91 World Series, you saw just how aggressive the AI is in this 2020 version of Action PC Baseball in trying to pick runners off. Pitch to Bunbury is a fly ball to shallow right. Norwood comes in to make the catch, and that will retire the side. The Orioles strand one. No runs, no hits, no errors. After two, Minnesota three, Baltimore one. So Carew, Ford, and Morales to face Flanagan here in the third. If you're wondering about how Memorial Stadium plays compared to 1978's league averages, lefties minus 1% in batting average and minus 14% in home runs. Why flyball pitchers could do well in Baltimore. Righties hit at a 6% less clip than average, and home runs are 20% off. Carew singled and scored in the first. Flanagan delivers, and there's a ground ball. Smith behind the bag over to first for the out. So one out for Ford. That triple was his first of the year. One for one, and he would hit 10 on the real year. So Ford does motor around the bases, or in Disco's case, boogie around the bases. Flanagan's pitch. Round ball to third. DeSensei straddles the line, throws to first, and that's out. So the second out, and Flanagan has settled in. Flanagan, of course, threw 281 in the third real innings. It went 19 and 15. But his ERA was over 4 at 403. Morales struck out his first time up. Nobody on, two out, top the third. And there's a line drive to right. That's going to get in front of Lopez. Murray got a late jump, jump. And Morales is on with a single. Fourth hit for Minnesota. The Orioles have two, and that'll bring up Cusick, who's 0 for 1. Flanagan toes the rubber. Line drive right to Eddie Murray. A little blooper, and he came in to make the catch. The Twins strand the runner. No runs, one hit, no errors. Two and a half in the book since Minnesota 3, Baltimore 1. So Billy Smith, Gary Renicky, and Eddie Murray to face Jeff Zahn here in the third. You know what? It just struck me. It's the second game we've done with Zahn. He kind of looks like Virginia Wade, doesn't he? Smith struck out his first time up. And there's a fly ball left center. Ford makes the catch. If you don't know who Virginia Wade is, tennis star from Great Britain. Had the luxury of winning the women's sing singles, the ladies, I'm sorry, the ladies singles title in Wimbledon Centennial in 1977. One of the few times 
that the Queen attended Wimbledon. Gary Renneke walked and scored in the first, the lone run for Baltimore. Pitch to Gary is a fly ball right center. Norwood comes in and makes the catch. Two out for Murray, who's singled. Now hitting 247 on the year. Seven extra base hits. It's on deals. Got him. He looked at an 0-2 curve for strike three, and Zahn snorts on his way back to the mound. So the pitchers have settled in. No runs, no hits, no errors. Three down, Minnesota three, Baltimore one. So Smalley, Weiniger, and Wolf to face Flanagan. Smalley was the lone walk allowed by Flanagan. Mike pitch, and that's line foul, third base side. Somebody thinking they're at Laurel. The racetrack makes the catch. Two and two the count. Here's the pitch. Ball four. Smalley worked the walk. Got down 2-2. Two, two, and ball four was high. So it'll be Weiniger. Butch is 0 for 1. Three runs, four hits. No errors for the Twins. They've left two on. A run on two hits and no errors. And they've left three on. Weininger, ground ball to Murray, takes it to the bag himself, and they'll just get the sure out there. So Smalley moves up to second. Weininger is out at first, one out for Larry Wolf. Larry always looks so happy in that picture. You gotta love the old-fashioned Twins helmet. He's 0 for 1. Flanagan at 62 pitches here in the fourth. And there's a liner up the middle. That's a base hit. Smalley will round third and hold. Wolf is on with a single. And the Twins have got runners in the corners and one out for Bob Randall, who's 0 for 1. He's driven in 9 this year in 85 at-bats. Flanagan deals. Ball 4. So Mike Flanagan not really finding the plate. Not a strikeout pitcher, but on the replay... His whip is 1-4-3-4. Four, four. He's walked three in this one and struck out two. And that was on four straight pitches. Well, I might as well give you the rest of it because that's the top of the lineup. So 18 batters deep, 68 pitches, only three and a third innings. Earl is beside himself in the dugout. Five hits, three runs, and the bases are loaded. So that could change in a hurry. Norwood struck out. And single, he's one for two. Infield playing back. Dempsey and Flanagan have a few words. Pitch from Mike is a ground ball to third. DeSensei going to try for two here. To Smith for one, over to Murray. And it looks like they got him. I think they got out of it. Did Flanagan get his best buddy? Yes, he did. He got the pitcher's best friend. Five, four, three, and the inning is over. Twins get a hit and strand one. Three and a half down, three one twins. Brings up Lee May, who had an RBI single in the first. May is one for one. Pitch from Zahn, and there's a chopper to third. Wolf all the way over for the out. And of course, this really is the height of Baltimore's three-run homer prowess. But you got to put base runners on to do it. Here's to Sensei. He's 0 for 1. And he laces this to left, but Cusick comes in to make the catch. It was hit hard, but not deep. And now the wind is blowing at 14 out to right center. And Baltimore, all they have is right-handed hitters against the lefties on. Carlos Lopez is 0 for 1. A big, big old thing of chaw on his cheek, too. Here's the pitch. Struck him out. Zahn got him to look at an 85-mile-an-hour fastball. No runs, no hits, no errors. We played four. Minnesota three, the Orioles one. And so the lefty Flanagan to face the lefty Carew with Ford and Morales to follow. Rod has a single and scored on the triple by Ford. Flanagan delivers, fly ball to right, Lopez 
in front of the bullpens makes the catch. So Carew did what he needed to do. He put that in the wind. But it didn't go anywhere. Ford retired his last time up. One for two. Has a triple. And he grounds that one to Garcia. Throws to first. And there's two out. So Flanagan, he's kind of tap danced around the minefield a couple times, but that scoreboard has not changed since the first. It's just three spot. Morales singled his last time up and started the game with a strikeout. Flanagan's pitch, and there's a chopper to Garcia. Over to Murray, and that will retire the side. So the Twins go down in order. We're halfway through this one. Minnesota 3, Baltimore 1. And so the in-game box score, Twins are hitting 268 as a team. Smalley's drawn two walks. Ford is driven in two for Minnesota. Zahn has held the Orioles to two hits. And it's a ground ball type of day for Flanagan. Murray has nine putouts through five innings. Zahn, four innings, two hits, a run it was earned. It is earned. Walked two and struck out three. The Orioles, you wonder why they're, if they can actually start to pitch better. Team ERA at 482. They can make a run. Rick Dempsey's 0 for 1. Garcia and Bumbry to follow. Zahn's pitch, ground ball to third. Wolf on the cut of the grass throws him out. One away for Garcia, who is one of the two walks given up by Zahn. Jeff from the stretch. Popped up. Smalley, two out. You mean from the wind? Yes, I meant from the wind. So 18 batters for Jeff Zahn, 72 pitches, four and two-thirds innings, just two hits. He's pitched well. Walked two, given up a run, and struck out three. Bunbury is 0 for 2. Pitch to Al. Ground ball to third. Wolf on a bang banger. Bumbry's got wheels. He's out. So the bang banger worked in favor of Minnesota. And Earl's just kind of shaking his head going, you got to beat that out. No runs, no hits, no errors. After five, it's Minnesota three, Baltimore one. Cusick, Smalley, and Weiniger to face Flanagan here in the six. Craig is 0 for 2. If you're watching, of course you were watching on YouTube. Next game going up will be Friday. And the Twitch stream from Thursday. It will be the Dodgers and the Pirates from Three Rivers. Pitch for Cusick. Popped up. Left side. Renicky runs out of real estate. And another contract to sign. This time the youngster from Baltimore. We're in a Colts jersey. Ball and two strikes. The Cusick. Flanagan deals. Struck him out. Mike got him to swing and miss on an 89-mile-an-hour fastball, and that's three. And there's one out. Here's Roy Smalley. He has worked two walks off of Flanagan. It's 14 on the year for Smalley. Flanagan's pitch, and this time he just grounds it up the middle for a base hit. So Roy Smalley continues to be a pain in Flanagan's side. And that will bring up Butch Weiniger, who's 0 for 2. Twins have stranded four runs. Or runners. And the Orioles, three. And Smalley has the sixth hit for Minnesota. Pitch to Weiniger is a fly ball to right. Lopez makes the catch. Smalley goes back. Two out for Wolf. Larry has a single. There's one for two. Flanagan over 100 pitches. But you could still see him pitch into the eighth. Wolf, ground ball, left side, base hit. Garcia should have had that. He got a late jump. And Smalley shuffles over to third. The Twins have now runners in the corners for Bob Randall, who is 0 for 1 with a walk. 3 to 1, Twins. 56 degrees, a clear, cool night. And the winds are blowing straight out to right at 12. Pitch, 
Randall popped up. Garcia by the bag at second, and the Twins will leave two. No runs, two hits, no errors. Five and a half in the books. It's the Twins still three to one. So Minnesota has left six on. Billy Smith is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Pitch from Zahn. Struck him out. He got him to chase an 0-2 changeup for strike three. That's four for Jeff and 21 on the year. Gary Renicky is 0 for 1 with a walk. But the walk led to that run in the first. 3 to 1, Minnesota. Zahn's pitch. Ground ball, Smalley with a diving stop by the bag over to first for the out. So Zahn really cooking with gas now. Here's Murray. He is singled and struck out. One for two. Got him. He swung on and missed on the fastball, and Zahn just kind of pumps his fist. No runs, no hits, no errors. We've played six. It's three to one, Twins. So we'll see. Flanagan, maybe two more innings if he goes well. He's giving me the fatigue warning. 27 batters, 111 pitches. Six innings, seven hits. He has walked three and struck out three. Norwood has singled, struck out, and grounded into, grounded into a double play. Pitch to Norwood, struck him out. Breaking ball on a 1-2 count, strike three call. That's four for Flanagan. And now bring up Carew. One for three, he has singled and scored. Little number down to Murray, flips it to Flanagan covering, and there's two outs. So Flanagan being his own good friend right now. Two outs for four, his two-run triple in the first. Put the Twins on the board. Pitch. Chopper to Garcia. Over to first, and that will retire the side. So Flanagan will come out for the eighth. Stretch time, three to one, Twins. Thanks to my Patreons, including our Red Sox fan and Dale Lonsdale for making our YouTube exclusive game of the week possible. So we do one of these only on YouTube and the others you can see live on twitch.tv slash retrosportsnetwork. Tuesdays and Thursdays scheduled anyway for noon Eastern, 9 Pacific. Lee May had an RBI single. He's one for two. The lone run driven in for the Orioles. Zahn starts the bottom of the seventh with a strikeout. He got a one-two in there inside on the black, and that's six. Over six in the third for Zahn. The Sensei's 0 for two. Zahn deals, and there's a fly ball to left. Cusick will corral that for the out. Zahn, as I said in the beginning, looking for his fifth win of the year, 4-0. In real life, he went 14-14, but look at that ERA, 3-0-3. This does not give up a lot of long balls. Carlos Lopez is 0-2 with a strikeout. Pitch from Zahn, struck him out, that's 7. He swung on and missed a 2-2 fastball, and that will retire the side. Orioles go down in order. We go to the eighth, three to one, Minnesota. So Jose Morales, Craig Cusick, and Roy Smalley, and Flanagan looks okay. So Earl locking back and forth in the dugout. We'll probably give him a base runner. Morales has a strikeout and a single. He's one for three. Here's the pitch. Struck him out. That's five for Flanagan. An 0-2 fastball on the outside corner. And Flanagan likes that. 
Three runs, seven hits, no errors for the Twins. They left six on. A run on two hits and no errors for the Orioles, and they've left three on. Here's Cusick. Craig is 0 for 3 with a strikeout. And he grounds that one to Murray. He'll take it to the bag himself for the second out. Roy Smalley has not been retired. He has walked twice in single. He's 1 for 1, hitting 306 now. Flanagan is going to give Earl probably 8. And that's pretty good. Popped up. They're going to retire him this time. Smith makes the catch, and that will retire the side. Flanagan might actually get the ninth. No runs, no hits, no errors. After seven and a half, Minnesota three, Baltimore one. It'll be Dempsey, Garcia, and Barry to face Zahn here in the bottom of the eighth. Dempsey's 0 for 2. Zahn's pitch, and there's a ground ball to Carew. Makes a diving stop, underhands it to Zahn, covering for the out. That is all on Carew. What a play by Rodney Klein. So one out for Kiko, who was 0 for 1 with a walk. Pitch from Zahn, and there's a line in the left center field. That's a base hit. So the third hit, and Earl will go to his bench. Oh, goodness gracious, or will he? When Mark Belanger is a better option, that's hard. 323, however, 10 RBI, does not homer, three doubles. So one out, Garcia on first. Tying run is Belanger at the plate. He's not bunting, throw to first, Garcia's back. Billy Smith on deck. Belanger. Got him! One, two, swung on and missed. That's eight for his on. And that'll bring up Billy Smith. Garcia is going to go. The throw down to Randall. In time. They got him. 65% chance, and that was an absolute bullet down from Weininger to Randall, and that will retire the side. We go to the ninth. Three to one, Twins. Carlos Lopez moves to center. He's a five and an eight. And Kenny Singleton goes in the game and right. He's a six and a seven. He won't bat. And Flanagan probably gets a base runner. So Lopez a five and an eight in the center. Singleton a six and a seven in right. Weininger is 0 for three. Wolf and Randall will follow. Smith, Renneke, and Murray in the bottom of the ninth. Flanagan's pitchers a ground ball to Garcia. Over to Murray for the out. Larry Wolf is single twice. He's two for three. Flanagan deals. Wolf, ground ball to Garcia. Over to Murray for the out. So Flanagan gave up. No, it got away from Murray. And it goes in the dugout, and Wolf is on second. I was about to say Flanagan's pitched pretty flawless baseball for a while, but now he's got to worry about Larry Wolf. Gar the error is on Garcia. The throw was high, and it bounced off of Murray's glove into the Baltimore dugout. And that'll bring up Randall, who's 0 for 2 with the walk. Flanagan's pitch. There's a pop up, shallow center. Lopez is there, and that's the out. So Flanagan threw 36 batters, 138 pitches. Eight and two-thirds innings, seven hits. He's walked three and struck out five. Norwood has struck out twice, singled, scored, and grounded into a double play. So he trusts Flanagan to do his job. Here's the pitch. Norwood, line drive right to the sensei. Rich Childs will come in to play left. As Jeff Zahn tries to slam the door with a three-hitter. Childs, if it matters, will bat fifth. Is a six and a five and left. 
Billy Smith is 0 for 3. He has struck out twice. The good news for the Orioles is the heart of the lineup is coming right up. They've left three on. The Twins have seven. The Orioles have three hits. The Twins have seven. Here's a ground ball to Carew. Takes it to first himself for the out. Scoreboard is how we determine these games, of course, and it says Minnesota 3, Baltimore 1. Gary Renicky is 0 for 2. He has walked and scored the lone run. That came in the first. And Zahn, if he can get the last two out, will have his fifth complete game of the year. Renicky, chopper up the middle. Smalley throws it to first. Two out. And now... It's up to Eddie Murray in the last chance saloon. Murray is singled. He's one for three and has struck out twice. Zahn can feel it. A quick stream. We're going to be done in about 45 minutes. Here's the pitch. Murray into center, and the Twins are going to win as Ford makes the catch. So Jeff Zahn has thrown a three-hitter, and the Minnesota Twins have beaten the Baltimore Orioles by the score of three to one. So Jeff Zahn is our digital dice player of the game. He goes the route. Nine innings, three hits. That run in the first, that was it. He walked two and struck out eight. He had plus stuff. He th could have thrown 139 pitches. He only threw 118. He w threw 81 strikes and 37 balls. Flanagan. So we get the double CG. Nine innings, seven hits. He actually acquitted himself quite well at the end. He goes to one in four as the Orioles just couldn't score. Walked three and struck out five. And he threw 143 pitches and should have thrown about 140. So the two-run triple by Ford was all the offense the Twins needed. Three runs, seven hits, no errors. Orioles a run on three hit and one error. And Minnesota had the bases loaded in the fourth, and then Flanagan sailed right down over the last five innings. So we'll give you the scoreboard right after this. Okay, let's go through the rest of our Friday night in baseball. There are 11 games on the card for this fifth day of May, and poor Ron Guidry. Yes, I am being serious. John Matt, like Reggie Cleveland actually got the win this game. Texas beat the Yankees 1-0. Thompson with a solo shot, the only run of the game. Guidry's line, nine innings, three hits, and 12 strikeouts. And the Yankees fall to 11 and 12. The Phillies beat the Mets 11 to 8. Jim Longborg, 1 and 2 on the year. Phillies powed out 16 hits. Bob Boone with a homer. Montreal beat Cincinnati 10 to 2. 17 hits for the X Bowl. Steve Rogers goes to 4 and 2. I think the Tom Hume experiment as a starter is done. Gary Carter. Hit a six of the year. Uh, Pittsburgh beat L.A. 4-2 to two in 10 innings. Hopefully that's a good sign for tomorrow's game. Grant Jackson 1-1 one one on the year. Burt Hooten takes his first loss. He goes to 4-1. Omar Moreno 4-4 four for four with a stolen base. Houston beat Atlanta 5-4. Joe Negro beat Nick Rick Camp. Joe goes to 4-1. Terry Poole 3-5, for five, a double and a triple. San Diego beat St. Louis 7-3. Randy Jones... Goes to four and two. Dave Winfield three and for five for three RBI. Milwaukee climbs back to eleven and twelve. They beat Kansas City six to three. Caldwell goes to three and one. Colburn one and two. Larry Heisel two home runs. He has ten. That's two behind Jim Rice with three RBI. Seattle beat Toronto four to three and ten. Jackson Todd gets his first win in the year. Bassetti four for five with two doubles. Detroit beat Oakland. 4-3, John Hiller, blast from the past, 2-1 on the year. Aurelio Rodriguez hit his third for Detroit, and Cleveland beat California 5-4. Rick Wise goes to 2-4. He outdueled Nolan Ryan. And so as we leave you, we're going to show you some standings and stats. And don't forget, uh, live baseball on twitch.tv slash retrosportsnetwork, Tuesdays and Thursdays at noon. You get the YouTube-exclusive game, that pops up during the week as well. Until then, we'll leave you with the standings. Have yourself a good day. 
always helpful to hit the right screen. So I'm not sure if I already told you to have a good day or not, but those are your stats and stories and standings as we go through. And I can't really go back and change much of anything. So once again, your final score here, Minnesota 3, Baltimore 1. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you the next time.